Paul Ryan. I don't know him well, but I'm sure I'm going to get along great with him. And if I don't, he's going to have to pay a big price. The process of, of unifying the Republican Party, which just finished a primary about a week ago, perhaps one of the most divisive primaries in memory, takes some time. Look, there are people who are for Donald Trump, who are for Ted Cruz, or for John Kasich, who are for Marco Rubio and everybody else. And it's very important that we don't uh, fake unifying, we don't pretend unification, that we truly and actually unify so that we are full strength in the fall. So if not now, Brian, when? Is it at the convention where Paul Ryan pounds the gavel and says, I'm a full supporter of Donald Trump? Is that the way it plays out? <laughs> Well, you know, I appreciate that the speaker has actually given some thought to it. Instead of just jumping on the bandwagon and saying automatically we should all get behind him, he's given it some thought. Uh, I do believe as time goes on that uh, Trump will be the nominee, and uh, at the convention, I believe the party will be unified. And I really love that the speaker talks about creating a bigger tent, a tent where more people of diverse thought can be part of, because flank, frankly, that's reflective of our country as well. Got it. Okay, listen, Jeannie, let's listen to another part of this, and it was both in the statement and uh, the speaker talked about it. Shared principles, uh, differences, uh, really a theme there. Let's listen to it. We'll get your take coming out. I, I'm very encouraged. I, I heard a lot of good things from our presumptive nominee, and we exchanged differences of opinion on a number of things that, you know, everybody knows we have. There are policy disputes that we will have. There's no two ways about it. Plenty of Republicans disagree with one another on policy disputes, but on core principles. Those are the kinds of things that we discuss. And again, I'm... Give us a cliff note uh, version, Jeannie. Where are the big differences policy-wise between these two that they're going to have to come closer on? The big differences are immigration, they are trade, they are entitlement reform, they are the domestic economy, foreign policy, isolationism. You know, you can run the gamut. These are two different aspects of the party. The Jack, Jack Kemp part that Paul Ryan represents and this kind of new uh, tr Donald Trump version of the Republican Party. And I don't see them coming together from a policy perspective easily. Got it. You know, the, there are sources, that, Brian, that told CNN that Paul Ryan uh, made sure he told Donald Trump, and again, this is a source telling CNN this, that, hey, a lot of people voted against you. You need to help uh, unify the party and also big issues for uh, Paul Ryan entitlements, budgets, things like that. Anything in there surprise you or you expect that in a meeting like this? Well, I expect it in a meeting like this. I think some of the core foundational principles are in place. Now the question is, how does that play out into policy? And this is going to be the real test of Donald Trump. Can he rise to the occasion and truly be presidential? Can he figure out how to unify people to set a strategy and to really move us forward as a country? Got it. Hey, guys, thanks again uh, so much. So uh, as Paul Ryan said, this is just the beginning. 45 minutes doesn't uh, fix everything, unify everybody <laughs> and everything. So we'll see how this plays out. Jean